What's good, my people? This Smallito, Smallito's way coming at you with another video. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, share the video, show some love. It's not going to cost you a damn thing, I promise you. So let's get into this. Talking about T.I. and Tiny. Oh my God. They are in a world of shit. It's crazy. But anyway, look, um, six more women have come forward and are accusing them of Basically the same thing, taking advantage of them, drugging them, sexually, uh, you know, doing doing crazy shit without their consent and whatever. But two of them are real crazy. The allegations. So one of the late, one of the um, one of the accusers was actually in the Air Force, and uh, I believe she said around 2005, she was at a nightclub and Ti and Tiny were there, whatever, whatever, and. Tiny gave her a drink, which she believed was drug because she, after she got the drink, she was uh, woozy and whatever. She wound up at the hotel with them and um, I guess some shit happened, including what she remembers seeing, <laughs> she remembers was this, this is, I never even heard of no shit like this. She said T.I. tried to put his foot in her, her, v, her vagina. That's some new shit. That's, I don't even know. I, that's some new shit. I don't know. But anyway, he on some old, whole next level freak shit, I guess, for that. And she remembers, you know, whatever, that waking up in the morning and she was butt naked on a couch with nothing but a towel covering her uh, her vagina, you know, her, her lower half and shit. She remembers that she was sore, too. And then that's one of them. The other one is a 17. She was 17 at the time. And she remembers a similar story. Um, she w was in dealings with them or whatever. And I guess they, you know, went to do whatever. And she woke up in the same, in the same thing. She woke up with a, with, she said that her vagina was bleeding. Ouch. And not only that, that, that her rectum or her ass, she felt sore in her ass too. So I guess her parents took it to the doctor and her doctor confirmed that she was, uh, penetrated or whatever you know what i'm saying and she was suffering the, the the pain she was feeling was because of excessive penetration or whatever you want to call it so yikes and listen man i'm gonna speak my piece on this that those are what's that's what's out whatever the lawyer is uh like i said they were before in the other video they're being charged in two separate states because apparently they happen some of them happen in georgia some of them happen in, in los angeles so there's two things going on. Um, so, yeah, that. But what I will say about it is, is like I said before in the other video prior, it's like, listen, man. And I'm not victim shaming. I'm not victim shaming at all. I'm not. For real. I think rape, rape, rape is one of the most heinous crimes anybody could commit. So, this is not what that is. But I don't understand why it takes 16 years and 11 other women to come out before you start that. See, that's the shit that makes me think you just want in on the bag that's coming, possibly. That's what makes me think that. And don't give me the, oh, I was, you know, listen, man. Like, if it was bothering you that much, then you should have done something about it. You should have been the whistleblower. That's how I think about it, man. Like, why? Why, why, wait, this, why wait this long? If you went 16 years of your life... And you've been living your life, having children, still had your career, everything. And you were not trapped in one space because of this one incident and it didn't ruin your life and everything. Obviously, you've moved past it and whatever. And now that you see other people and shout out. I don't know who was the first one that came out with this, but shout out to that woman. She did the right thing. She went out there. She she exposed whatever she felt was wrong. And I respect her. And I respect everybody. I'm not trying to victim shame. I'm not, yo. Like, if she if this honestly happened and it honestly fucking with her conscience and her mental, then by all means, handle your business. But like I said, there's certain individuals that take advantage of situations like this and make it hard for you to feel sympathy for certain people in these instances. And I'm not saying that this lady's one of them. I'm not saying that any of these women are one of them. I'm just saying that sometimes that happens and it's unfortunate because it takes away from the people that really, really went through the trauma. 
So that's what it is right now, people. Your boy T.I. is a freak. He putting foot, he putting foot in, 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 in people. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. And um, they're, say, they're facing some pretty serious charges. And we'll see what happens. Like I said, the details will come out in the, you know, whatever doesn't come out in the in the wash or come out in the rinse. Like shit, we're gonna we're gonna hear about this. I think this is gonna be something that is a big big court case, and it's gonna you know a lot of details are gonna come out, and we're gonna see what really happens. So stay tuned. I will be updating as information comes. I'll be updating and, and you know letting y'all know what, what what's going on out here. And. That's about it. Y'all be good. You can always follow me on Young OG 3000. That's on my IG page. Like, subscribe, share, show some love. And always, y'all be, be safe. Y'all be safe. Y'all stay blessed, man. I'll see you next time.